with the EIPM model, those Explore lessons, do not skip those lessons. Those are the lessons where my students have had the aha moments. It lays the foundations for the investigate, the practice, and the make lessons. So the EIPM sequence can be a little intimidating at first, especially for a non-CS teacher, in that the explore lesson really is teacher heavy. You're providing manipulatives, you're providing post-it notes and Ziploc bags, and sometimes that can be heavy in terms of preparation, but that explore lesson is really important for you in terms of understanding the content and students to have at least that shared vocabulary. When students are using their hands in an unplugged manner where they're not distracted by their phones or their laptops or their Chromebooks or whatever, and they're seeing things happen with their hands, it makes a connection in their brain. And then when they move on to the other aspects of EIPM, it's not like we're learning something new. They're like, oh, I've heard of the word traversal before, or I've heard of the word list before. So it eases them into the coding part because they already have an idea of what they're going to be coding. They use those tools that they have been building in class that you help them discover, rediscover, they had it all the time, but they rediscover these skills they had, and now they can build something new. So when you get to the make lessons and your students get to the screen and they see that they have all the user interface items already there, I tell my students, think about structuring your app in sections. You have your variables first, then your on events for your buttons where you want to click and your interactivity. And then you have your functions after that. And if you get to the point where you have looping in there also, then you also structure that in there. 